Stangibilisco here um, to observe the current El Nino conditions in the eastern Pacific where Hurricane Patricia is currently located. Uh, the date is October 23rd, 2015, the time 5.56 p.m. Mountain Daylight, soon to change to Mountain Standard. And just about in time for our first snow and ice event expected here. Quite a bit different from Hurricane Patricia, <clears throat> which is located right in this vicinity here. Note that that hurricane is located in one of the two warmest regions of the entire Pacific Ocean at this time. This one, then of course this one out here, uh, sort of south and west of Hawaii, I would guess. Uh, but this uh, 2015 seven-day average centered on 15 October 2015. 14 October 2015. <laughs> and warm water feeds hurricanes and makes them more intense. And so in a, during an El Nino event, when you get warm water in areas like this, you would expect more hurricanes and you would expect them to be more intense. And such is certainly proven true right now. It also proved true during the, just in, during the summer prior to the winter 1997-98 El Nino event, when I lived in Southern California, we had a storm called Linda, which was one of the most powerful hurricanes ever recorded in the Eastern Pacific. But in that area, rather than strike Southern California, which some meteorologists thought for a time that it might, it did what hurricanes out there usually do and just unraveled itself and sent a band of clouds over us to interfere with our sunbathing, and that was about the extent of it. This time, the hurricane, is at, probably as we speak, the edge of the uh, eye wall is making landfall with winds of uh, close to 200 mile an hour. It, it has weakened slightly, they say, from 200 mile an hour, 879 uh, millibars, which is right about 26 inches of mercury even. But hurricanes in this part of the world definitely have to do with the El Nino events, the warming of the water in the eastern Pacific Ocean. Warm water feeds hurricanes, and so it is. This one is a well-fed beast indeed. Stan Gibalisco is signing off. Just a little bit of a update on Patricia El Nino. Here, we're safely away from it in the black holes of Dakota Territory. I mean, Toratary. United States of adverse weather. Until next time, so long.